This is the project GSM and GPS based vehicle tracking system. So here we are going to use the two batteries for the motherboard to be the main supply to the microcontroller. This is the microcontroller. So here we have the LCD. So we can use the 16 by 2 LCD and the GSM modem and the GSM modem needs the external power supply. So that's why we are going to use another two batteries. Uh, initially we have to insert the SIM card from this at this location. So valid SIM card that to be. It has a valid number. So after inserting the SIM card into the GSM modem, then connect this cable at this part. After it says it show, show the battery should be the full, the new batteries only. Place the new batteries and to this connector and then here insert the plug-in. So it's a power indication. It's a power indication one initially and uh, you can observe here the yellow light is blinking very fast around of one second. So nothing but it's trying uh, to get the signal from the SIM card. So when the signal is received from the subscriber, it will be getting slow. So then only we have to on the main supply of the motherboard. This is the on-off switch. So it has a welcome message initially. Then after installing the JSM modem. So after getting installation of the JSM modem, here is the GPS receiver. We can know that this is a GPS receiver. So the GPS receiver interfaces to the microcontroller at this point. It's a pin A0 and the JSM modem was interfaced at this location. And uh, you can see, observe that this is an action notification. It's an action switch. The 1 and 0. 1 nothing but indicating that the we are going to inform the microcontroller accident occurred. And 0 nothing but there is no ac the accident. So initially we, we have to place this in the 0 position only. We had to know that otherwise it is getting hang up. And uh, so it is a live parameters from the GPS receiver. So when initially we have to place this whole device under the sky. Under the sky. Nothing but the, then the GPS receiver will get the satellite signal. So when the GPS receiver got the satellite signal, so this GPS receiver has a one LED, you can observe here, it will start blinking. So when it is blinking, then only the GPS receiver will give you the valid location parameters, nothing but the latitude and values to the microcontroller. Okay, so these are the values. So now we don't have a sky view, that's why it's, uh, LED is not blinking. So but we can get the previous values of the, the GPS receiver. So when it is getting slow blinking range, then we need to send a message of help to the SIM card which was inserted inside the GSM modem. Help all should be in the small letters only. Nothing should be in the capital letters. Help H E L P you can observe here. See small letters. Send to that number. After sending the SMS on the LCD, we can know that SMS is here also runs a number. It's like this. And then after within the 4 to 5 seconds, the sending party will get the one receiving message or uh, new message from the microcontroller, which was sent from the microcontroller. Text message from the known number. Send. To get my location, send. About. To know about me. So from this we can know that from WRU to know the wiki location and about to know the project value, project like name. So then we'll go with the WRU. See, all should be small letters one again. Send that to this one. Our device SIM card. After sending help message only, we can check this accent switch. So because before that the GSM modem don't have any number now to send the accident alerts. So you yeah, like the if case any occurs on uh, record on read, so that SIM card error is there. So we need to send the same message again. Yeah, sometimes uh, when the signals are busy. So record only will be appear on the LCD screen. If it appears, so don't be panic. Let's send the same message once again. So like this. So next time it's coming normally. So now it will, uh, I'm asking about the WR, the location of this uh, vehicle. So now my device will respond to my mobile number. So like exactly the Right. You can see this. And now, if I on this switch, 
this LED will be indicated in the X location and within the seconds only you will get the message from this device by placing this uh, latitude longitude value from the Google Earth, we can find the look, exact vehicle location from the Google Earth from this latitude longitude values. So, there is a vehicle tracking system by using the GPS and the GSM modem. The so, main thing is we have to insert the SIM card very gentle. It's a very gentle device here, the only this part SIM card inserting part. And only we are going to do insert this batteries, two batteries to this battery connector and at this point and so two batteries at the GSM model and SIM card all three things we have to insert clearly and first thing is we have to place the whole device under the sky to get the GPS signal so the GPS signal will be indicated from this LED this LED will be wings okay thank you very much